Today we're going to walk through using the standard AX intercompany functionality to record one payment to multiple vendors across legal entities. In this case we're going to be working with vendors but it would work exactly the same way with customers. In our scenario we have a vendor who three of our companies do business with that vendor and for business reasons we have decided to record those payables in each of those legal entities but we want it to cut one check out of one legal entity for all of those payments. So before we get into the actual generating of the payment, let's take a quick look at the AX intercompany functionality. Now you'll notice that I am showing this in the new version of AX, AX7, but the functionality works exactly the same in AX 2012. If you go into the general ledger setup and go to intercompany accounting, and this is where we define the accounts that are the due to from accounts between each legal entity. So in this case, because I am in company USMF, what we're telling AX is that whenever there is a transaction that crosses USMF and legal entity DEMF, post the due to from credit to this account or the due to from debit in this account. And then this would be the journal that is used in the destination company. You would also need to go to each of the destination companies DEMF and USRT and do the same setup on that side. So that's pretty much it for the intercompany setup. Now let's go through the process of selecting the vendor, selecting the invoices, and generating the payment for this vendor across multiple legal entities. You do the same thing, accounts payable, payment journal, lines. Now you'll notice that I have personalized the screen to add a column for company. Because I'm going to be selecting vendors across multiple legal entities, I need to have the ability to specify by line which legal entity, which company I'm going to be selecting that vendor or going to be selecting that open invoice for. In this case, we want to be selecting the vendor that we have across multiple legal entities is Property Associates and I want to settle a transaction. You'll notice that by using the intercompany accounting, by selecting the company and the vendor, I see the particular invoices that are due to this vendor for this legal entity. And I just settle that or mark it in the normal way. And then the next thing I want to do is to pick an invoice or invoices from my legal entity DEMF. And you'll notice that I go through the same process to select the vendor. You'll also notice that the vendors that displayed when I did the drop down were the vendors for company DEMF and that my property associates is here again. In this case, the property associates does not have and would not need to have the same vendor number across the legal entities. Settle a transaction and you will see that again the invoices that are displayed are the invoices for that vendor in that legal entity. And I have a third invoice in company USRT that we also want to pay on this check. And again I select company USR, USRT, select company property associates. select the invoice or invoices I would want to pay for this vendor, click OK, and now I've got my payment journal. And you will notice that when this journal is posted, it will reduce accounts payable and post payments against the vendors in each of these legal entities. It will reduce cash for USMF, and it will also create due to from accounts to those due to from accounts we defined in intercompany accounting between USMF and DEMF for the $3,000 that in effect the USMF is paying for DEMF and a due to from between USMF and USRT for the $66.67 that USRT is paying for USMF. And that is the process to do a multi-company 
vendor payment or customer payment across multiple legal entities using standard AEX intercompany functionality.